All right, guys, we're back. And for any of you new pizza on the channel here that haven't been watching for at least a couple of years, this is what my fireplace has looked like for the last two and a half years. I think it's about time we did something about this. Here goes. <laughs> fashion. I didn't buy enough bags of concrete so you probably saw in the time lapse I was stuffing other old bricks and rocks and stuff in there to try and bring it up to level. I'm still about three quarters of an inch short but I bought a bag of this level quick stuff. So I'm going to pour that in there. I need to go find some rock. That's my next mission while this dries. Take me a while, but plenty of rocks here. Oh, I'm a samurai and I'm okay. I saw shit up all night and day. I'm a samurai and that's okay. I saw shit up all night and day. I'm doing some nice, beautiful rock work here, Samurai Mason style, and I've got this little firewood box alcove thing that's just these ugly jumbo bricks in there that don't really look good at all. And when you're going to put a nice facade of beautiful natural stone veneer over here, you're going to be looking in this ugly thing, and if it's ever empty, you'll see that it's going to look like garbage. And if I put rock in there, you know, it'll take up two inches on either side and it'll make it tiny, right? And I'll lose depth all the way around, and not to mention it's a ton of work. So what I'm going to do is I went to the metal supermarkets, got some sheet metal. So I'm just going to put sheet metal in here and weld the corners with some angle iron, spray it with vinegar, and that vinegar will cause it to rust, really heavily rust. And so it'll just be like a rusted industrial kind of steel box where the wood sits. So that's a quick fix. Let's go weld that up right now. I just let the vinegar sit overnight and it's nice and rusty now. Give it a little bit more of a spray. Easy peasy.
So what I'm doing is taking all these rocks, cutting them to a two inch thickness, making my own veneer uh, so that the fireplace obviously won't be super thick because all these rocks are different sizes. So cutting them down to a nominal size allows me to stack them up on the wall a lot easier and not have to put a big thick mortar bed in behind there because the fireplace is already pretty large in size, just the brick. I don't want it kind of coming into the room any more than it has to. So yes, that's a ton of work. Yes, it's probably cheaper for me to just buy stone veneer from the local stone yard here, but it just doesn't have the same story, you know? I've gone and handpicked all these stones from a local beach here. And that to me is a fun process, being able to just take a few trips down to the beach with a bucket and walk along, take a little time to myself and just pick through stones, find ones that are really visually interesting and cool shapes and stuff like that. It's just a fun project. I even took my boys down and they were helping me pick out rocks. And so for me, that creates a story that's really worth investing that amount of time. My boys will be able to look at that fireplace and say, hey, I helped my dad pick out the rocks for that. And, and I personally will be able to say, you know, I, I, I found each one of those rocks and stacked them up. So that to me just adds a lot more value. We're gonna put them on the fireplace so they look real nice. We'll get some more. Okay. Let's go. Let me give you a little pointer on relationships with women. Now as a married man, let me tell you guys, all you guys, you single guys out there, every woman is bilingual. They speak their native tongue and they also speak sign language. Now some of the married men watching this have already picked up on the sign language in this video. But for you simpletons out there, let me just point out the sign language in this video. See, my wife, she knows better than to nag me and to tap her watch and say, when are we gonna get this fireplace done? I've got stockings to hang. See, what she does is she just subtly places a few decorations on the mantelpiece here. And don't be confused, these aren't just any random decorations. It's no coincidence that the nutcracker is sitting here watching me. See, what this is, is it's a metaphor for my wife watching me over my shoulder, my beautiful little nutcracker. She's saying, get that mantle done, honey. Don't make me angry. Christmas is coming. I want to decorate. See, you see there? She never said any of those things. She didn't need to. Sign language.
Right, well that's as far as I've gotten in like two weeks. Scribing those rocks has just been insanely difficult and time consuming. I do about 15 to 20 of those rocks a day. Just, oh. but it's gonna look so good when it's done. I was gonna do rock above the mantle to the ceiling, but I'm like, screw that. I'm gonna do wood, because it'll take way less time. And I think it'll look kind of awesome. It's probably gonna look something like this, only better. So stay tuned for the next video where I get this freaking fireplace done, hopefully before Christmas. So I can have a happy Christmas instead of a grumpy Christmas. Anyways, a couple days left to get this t-shirt, guys. Keep calm and chisel on. Hit that in the link down below or up in the corner here. We'll see you on the next video. Samurai. Samurai out.